Cubbies. How are you guys? It's me, Miss Melissa, and welcome to lesson time. Now today we saw Cubby Bear breaking a rule. <gasps> Do you remember what happened? That's right. He wasn't supposed to go to the apple cider room, but he did it anyways. Oh, Cubbies, have you ever broken a rule before? What happened? Yeah, when I break a rule, I usually get in trouble. That's usually what happens, right? Well, do you guys remember our story from last week where we learned about Adam and Eve? Adam and Eve, they lived in a beautiful garden of Eden. And God put them in charge of taking care of the garden and all the animals. And everything was perfect there. They always felt happy. They were never sick or sad or scared. And they could talk to God all day, every day. How cool is that? And now in the garden, God gave Adam and Eve a rule. Do you guys remember what the rule was? Mm-hmm, that's right. God said Adam and Eve could eat fruit from all the trees in the garden except for one. Do you remember which tree it was? Can you point to it? Mm-hmm. It was this tree right here. They were not allowed to eat the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And if they did, what would happen? Yeah, they would die. And we know that this is truth because God's word tells us that that's what it says. And that's what would happen. And we know that God's word is truth. Can you guys say that with me? God's word is truth. Good job, cubbies. Now, one day when Adam and Eve were in the garden, a serpent came to talk to Eve. Now, we don't know what the serpent looks like. The Bible doesn't tell us. But the Bible does tell us that the serpent was the sneakiest of all the creatures. He pretended to be nice, but really he wasn't. He was Satan, God's enemy in disguise. And the serpent asked Eve a question. He said, did God really say you can't eat from any of the trees in the garden? Oh, we can eat from the tree, said Eve. But God told us not to eat from the tree in the middle of the garden or even touch it. And if we do, we will die. You won't die, the serpent lied. If you eat this fruit, you'll be wise like God. Wise like God? Well, Eve wanted to be wise. That sounded like a good thing. And the fruit did look delicious. So Eve decided to believe the serpent's lie instead of God's truth. She reached up, picked up a piece of fruit, and took a bite. Oh, and then you know what she did, Cubbies? She then took the fruit and gave it to Adam, who was with her, and he ate some too. Oh, no. Right away, they felt different. They wanted to cover their faces, and they wanted to cover their bodies, and they didn't want to be seen. Cubbies, this was the first sin in God's perfect garden. Remember, Sin is anything that we think, anything that we say, or anything that we do that disobeys God. Adam and Eve sinned, cubbies, and you and I have sinned too. We all have sinned against God. All have sinned, right? You remember our A from our cubby vest? Yeah, all have sinned. Our verse this week, Psalm 51, 4 says, against you, God, I have sinned and done what is evil in your sight. Oh, cubbies, Adam and Eve knew they disobeyed God. And when they heard the Lord walking in the garden, do you know what they did? They ran to hide behind the trees. They were afraid to talk to God. Cubbies, I wonder what's going to happen next. What do you think will happen next? Do you think they're going to get in trouble? Do you think they're going to die because they ate the fruit? Will God still love them? I think 
we'll have to wait till next week to find out. But I want to remind you that God loves all sinners. Remember our C, Christ died for us. So if he died for us, that means he loves us, right? That's right. So even though this is a sad story, we can be happy to know that God still loves us even when we sin. Let's pray and thank God for loving us. Will you guys pray with me? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for loving us even when we're naughty, even when we get in trouble, even when we make bad choices. Help us to love and honor you. In your name we pray, amen. All right, Cubbies, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you remember that God loves you. I'll see you next time. Bye.